For years now, I have had a love affair with the Brilliant Smart Control and the Brilliant Smart Switch for years. Go back and check out my smart home tours. I've done a couple videos on just Brilliant. I love them to death. I was one of their biggest supporters, wouldn't shut up about them. Well, today I'm here to tell you the honeymoon is over and I'm gonna talk about why. So let's get to it. What up everybody? It's George Lange Bear with Silver Hammer Surveillance coming to you once again from Voltage Studio. Here on the channel, we talk smart home tech. We talk home security. Occasionally, we talk about my health, which we're going to get to in a second. We have videos weekly. Follow me on the socials, specifically Instagram, where I give you a little more insight into the man behind Silver Hammer Surveillance, a little more insight into the smart home world, home security world. We talk about all sorts of stuff on Instagram. Follow me there, please. Today, we're talking about the smart home world and we're talking about my health. On the negative side, and I hate to be negative, we're talking about the brilliant smart control and how I've fallen out of love with them, which we're gonna get to. On the positive side, we're gonna talk about my health. For those of you out there that have followed my health journey, I was diagnosed with colon cancer, stage four spread to my liver in October, 2022. Been sharing that journey and trying to spread awareness. Now, a lot of you subscribed just for that journey, which is great. Thank you, and I hope we spread some awareness out there. But some of you OG subscribers on the smart home and home security side, you've been incredibly supportive as well. So at the end of this video, I'm gonna share a very exciting health announcement. And uh, like I said, pretty exciting about it. So we're gonna take that negative and turn it into a positive at the end. Now there's chapters in this video, so follow along and watch whatever you'd like, whatever your little hearts desire. All right, getting back to brilliant. Now, if you followed my, the channel and the smart home tours and a few videos I've done on Brilliant, you know, I love them. I love their smart home capability. I love that they're Apple home compatible. They were great as a smart switch. You can incorporate all sorts of devices. They were awesome with Sonos. You could see your cameras on the little display, your video doorbell on the little display. People would come to my place and just ask about them all the time. They look so premium and they work so well for years. But the primary focus of this video is what happened, Brilliant. You've gone downhill. So you can see here, I've scrapped them. I had every switch in here. We just moved in here in August and I spent thousands of dollars on Brilliant making every single switch in this place. Brilliant Smart Control or a Brilliant Smart Switch. Guess what? Here it is, November, and I've ripped them all out and I've switched to Lutron. Here are the four reasons why. And I'm telling you this, as a cautionary tale, because I've talked Brilliant up so much, and I apologize because it's not my fault, but Brilliant has gone downhill for four reasons. Number one, actually number one and two, both involve Apple Home. So this started in Silverhammer Tower, which was our last place. For some reason, some of the smart controls that I would buy, I could not get an Apple Home. And I actually did a short on this where I contacted Brilliant Support, who are awesome, by the way. Their support is awesome. But I contacted them and basically we got down to the root of the problem for certain controls and nobody can explain why you needed to reset what's called a HomeKit token. What was happening is I could set up the smart control just fine as far as Brilliant goes, but when I tried to add it to Apple Home, it just would not happen. And this happened on a couple smart controls both at Silverhammer Tower and then at Voltage Studio. Now we got to the bottom of that and they had to reset my token. Now that's fine. You know, it, it kind of sucks that they came out of the box that way. And I don't know where that happened because for years there was no problem with Apple Home or Apple Home Kit. They were flawless. That's why I've loved them for so long. But then that problem happened. But then to go on top of that, reason number two, and this also involves Apple Home, is they're just worthless as far as using them with SIRI. I don't know what happened. It used to be so flawless, but I could not get anything to work here. So I've got fans, you know, ceiling fans and exhaust fans. I had lights all hooked up to my brilliant smart controls. There were just some times that I couldn't get any of it to work with our lovely assistant. So I don't know what happened. And I've, I've talked to brilliant support about this. They have no explanation but it's just horrible. And I've got great internet here. We've got gigabit. I've got that $2,300 Orbi in here. 
awesome router, top of the line, and I can't handle the Apple Home compatibility any longer. Those two things alone would have got me to replace them with the Lutron I replaced them with. But then on top of that, I just had serious connectivity issues in general. So I would get them set up, I would have them on Wi-Fi, and then they would just drop out of Wi-Fi. And when I went to go add them back into my network, it just would not happen. And I called Brilliant Support once again, and they just had no answer for me. As awesome as they are, no answer. So I dedicated an IoT network for them. I made sure they were on 2.4 gigahertz like they're supposed to be. I did everything they asked me to do. Basically, I just had a dedicated network for Brilliant. And some of them would work and some of them wouldn't. Now, keep in mind, I had a lot of them in here. And I think that might be part of the problem. It's almost like Brilliant needs to add thread, you know, or something like that, or have a dedicated network for just Brilliant, something like that. But so two reasons with Apple Home and then the connectivity issue with Wi-Fi, that one was the biggest pain in the butt. And that is the main reason I tore them out. And then reason number four is the single switch. I find that like the motion sensor works great, but just in general, the reliability of them, as far as functionality, they were in and out. Some of them just didn't work. Now, luckily I had some two-way switches and th some three-way switches in here, and I didn't really rely on the single switch, but even at our last place at Silverhammer Tower, the single switches are just a crapshoot on whether you can even get them set up. And I spent thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars on you, Brilliant. And I've been so loyal to you and I've talked so much wonderful verbiage about you over the years to our subscribers. Man, I'm sorry, but it's over. I switched to Lutron and by the way, everything is working flawlessly. Thank you, Lutron. So I just had to make this video because I've just talked about them for so many years and some of you have bought brilliance because of me. And I, I apologize if you're having the same problems, please let me know in the comments if you're having problems or if you're still loving them. I don't know, maybe it's just me. Maybe I've got some sort of black hole with Brilliant in my last two places, but I don't think so. But again, I just wanted to come on here and, and tell you, I'm done. I've switched to Lutron and uh, we'll see. You know, I'll, I'll keep them because I don't know if I can even in good conscience sell them. But uh, so maybe with some updates or something, you can call me and let me know you fixed it all, Brilliant. But um, yeah, until then, I'm done. All right, so that's part one of this video. Hate to be negative, but it is what it is. Okay, so now on to my health. Diagnosed, stage four colon cancer, spread to my liver, October 2022. It's been quite the ride. I had a bowel blockage. I had a bowel perforation. By the way, with that bowel perforation, emergency surgery, we also removed my colon tumor. I had a tumor in there. Eight centimeters at one point started to shrink because of chemo. We had it removed and that turned out to be a huge blessing in disguise. So that bowel perforation almost killed me, but turned out to be a blessing because that tumor has been out of me. Then I finished chemo. Then I was scanned, PET scan and a CT scan to determine how we were doing after chemo. And it was wonderful news. No evidence of disease. We call it NED in the cancer world. That's great. It's kind of like remission but it just means you can't find cancer in your body. And that's what you wanted. And so chemo worked. So in addition to removing that tumor, everything else was gone. And what was that? So I also had lesions in my liver, two lesions and then some microscopic tumors. And that's why it was stage four because it had spread to my liver. Now chemo seemed to have burned those out, which was wonderful. And so no evidence of disease on that first round of scans three and a half months ago. So my exciting announcement today is that now, at this point in my life, I'm getting scanned every three months, and I just had that next set of scans last week. It was an MRI for my liver and a CT scan for my upper body, and they were no evidence of disease. We were also going to do an MRI of my pelvis, but when I went to do that one, the MRI machine was down. They determined that the one for my liver was sufficient, and then the CT scan, so we were good to go, which is fine by me, because if you followed my journey, you know I didn't do so well with MRIs. But I got through this one. I put a washcloth on my, on my head, thanks to your suggestions. I listened to some Yacht Rock. I counted the songs. I got through that bad boy pretty easily, I might add. So thank you for your tips. CT scans, no problem. You go in and out of the machine. It's only six minutes. 
MRIs were a bigger deal for me because they're like 30 minutes. You're stuck in that little tube. Found out I was claustrophobic, didn't know that, but Hey, I got through this one and went in for my results and the badass Dr. Hike, my oncologist, tell it like it is dude, told me that my results were beyond fantastic. Music to my ears, no evidence of disease. So I have a little bit of a lesion left in my body now, just in my liver. And just so you know, people have lesions sometimes. So it can be normal. I have a lesion that was 1.2 centimeters. It is now down to 0.7 centimeters. Still no evidence of cancer there. And that's shrinking on its own with no chemo, which I've been told is amazing. So I just wanted to share this with you because so many of you subscribed for this reason. So many cancer survivors out there have come to me looking for advice. I love you all and you're all badass warriors and thank you for sharing your journeys and you're inspiring me to kick cancer's ass and hopefully I'm inspiring you. It's just been a great back and forth and I love you. Some of you that have subscribed to the channel for security and tech, you've been so loyal to me and have gone through this journey with me and have followed along with my health journey and contacted me and reached out to me. Your love and support means so much. I've been told that my positivity has been a huge weapon in this fight and part of the reason I'm where I'm at right now. And so much of that is because of you and your love and support. I mean, we've had a roller coaster in the last 12 months. Now I'm trying to get back to our normal content just for you OGs out there, because I know that's why you originally subscribed. And I don't want to talk about cancer all the time, as much as I want to spread awareness and uh, share my journey. It's nice to get back to normal for a while. But I'm going to keep sharing these updates as, as they weren't, or if there's anything that new that comes along that I want to spread some awareness on. But um, I just want to share with you that it's all good news. I'm as healthy as can be. I'm cycling. I'm, I was, when it was nice, I was riding my bike 16 miles a day outside. Now I'm doing Apple Fitness with Shrika Holman. Shout out to Shrika Holman. And I'm walking outside anytime it's nice. I feel fantastic. My labs, when they, when they did the scans, were perfect through chemo and everything, I always had two different labs that were always just a little bit off. Everything else looked good, but I had these two. This time, everything was right in line. I feel better than I have since my 20s. I just, I've lost 50 pounds and it's been good weight, not cancer weight. I just feel fantastic. And so thank you so much for following this journey. I wanted to give this update because it's nice to have some good news. The beginning of this video started out a little negative, but whatever, it is what it is. So anyway, Thank you, thank you, thank you. Smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and uh, keep coming along on the ride with me. Until the next one, peace and love.